even though y'all call American biker, I see y'all got some Japanese stuff in here too. Seems like y'all carry all. No prejudice here. It's just like white and black. They have everything. No matter who you are, no matter what you ride, you can come see friends. But tell me what y'all do with y'all job. Do y'all have mechanics that can work on the Japanese stuff as well as American stuff? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've got um, we've got fully certified technicians here. At American biker. Uh, you know, our parts man David. Uh, he is excellent at what he does. Um, get your bike in. Get it serviced. We do service uh, not only Harley Davidson. Uh, but we do, we service pretty much every bike that you can possibly think of. Uh, you bring it to me and we'll make sure that it runs right for you and, uh, and not cost you a lot out of your pocket. I've seen a lot of foreign bikes, like you say, Japanese and American bikes, but just trying for something different. This is a big bike. You gotta take a look at this. The tank is 6.1 liters. Talk to my man Vince again. He'd tell you all about it. A little too big for me. All right, so what we got here, we got the Triumph Rocket 3. This bike is a crotch rocket killer. Um, you know, for all the guys out there that want to ride a, uh, a cruiser but still want to be able to keep up with the boys on them R1s, on them sixes, the boosters. The boosters. Now, it won't kill a boosa, but uh, I'm pretty sure it'll keep up with it pretty good. What we have here is uh, 2300 cc's. It is uh, fuel injected. It's got the 200 size rear tire. It's got almost a six gallon tank. Uh, this bike is uh, weighs right at 800 pounds, but uh, it'll pull the front wheel off the ground in the first three years. It does have a shaft drive because it has so much power that it will snap a belt or a chain in a heartbeat, um, pushing about 140 horsepower. So if you want a big bike, uh, cruiser cruiser wise, uh, I'd probably say this is your this is your bike if you want to go fast and uh, still be comfortable. Now this is also a Triumph. First impression, it looks just like a Ducati. You know, it probably doesn't have Ducati's price tag, but it might handle just the same. I'm gonna take you to Vince again on that one. Though. All right, so what we got here, we, this is the uh, this is the Daytona 675. Uh, this is a uh, your typical uh, crotch rocket. I mean, this is a sport bike. This bike is, uh, is the kind of bike that you would take to the Dragon and uh, go carve up the mountain with. Um, extremely powerful. I'd probably say to keep up with anything in the uh, 600 class. Uh, really, really quick, nice aggressive riding position. Um, you know, priced at 10.4, so it's really affordable. Um, the thing about the Triumphs, you know, since we are a dealer, one of the things about the Triumphs are, you know, a lot of Harley riders when they first started out, they started out on a Triumph. So you still get that, you get that respect from the Harley riders because of. How old Triumph is. Triumph has been around for over 100 years. Triumph is actually, uh, I think, a year older than Harley Davidson. But uh, if you still want to tear up the course, uh, get on the track, it's a perfect bike for you. Hi, my name is David Carp. I'm the parts and sales manager here at American Biker. If you need any kind of parts for any kind of motorcycles, with a one stop shop. I don't care if it's Harley, Suzuki's, Hondas, we have it all. Factory trained technicians, parts available in stock. Please give us a call. Thank you. What's up, man? It's me again. I want to introduce you to Rich. He's the owner of American Biker. Rich, you have anything you want to say to people? Hey, just like to welcome you guys to American Biker. Uh, come by and check us out. We have all kinds of makes and models. Um, keep a little bit of everything in here from uh, your sport bikes to your cruisers to uh, metric cruisers to vintage bikes. You know, we got a little bit of everything. We welcome everybody. So if you get a chance, come by and see us. Well, Rich, let me ask you a question. Do you see a change in the way it's coming instead of everybody trying to do the big, big customs and all that stuff? Because, you know, the economy's bad right now, so a lot of people ain't got away from them $70,000, $80,000. Like, a lot of people just can't afford it. What do you think the wave is? Well, you know, we used to sell a lot of the big dogs, brand new big dogs, $30,000, $40,000 right off the rip. Uh, I've seen a lot of people coming in lately shopping for bargains, shopping for, for a used big dog or a used Harley or, you know, a, a used Honda CBR. I mean, not buying new right now, just buying a good pre-owned bike. Mm -hmm. That way they're able to get what they want, uh, you know, a fraction of the price for the new one. Now, Vince was telling me y'all got y'all have mechanics that can work on anything. Yeah, we have all... Uh, Mechanics certified in pretty much every every line of motorcycles, from Harley to Suzuki to uh, Ducati, Honda. Um, I mean, all of our techs have been uh, trained and certified, uh, and we work on all kinds of bikes. When, when I was outside, like I told him, I see everything. You know, I've seen scooters, I've seen trailers, I've seen <laughs> classic cars. They sell everything here, from glasses to patches. They got. If you come to American Bike, you can find just about all. And uh, 
there's a different kind of attitude here. You know what I mean? It's just like what you see is what you get. The person is just normal. There's no rock star attitudes. There's no I'm better than you attitude. There's no white. There's no black. It's all motorcycle. So anytime we can just talk motorcycle, it's a better day. How do you feel about that? I like it. My Thanks man, for coming by. I appreciate you. Bye, man. Talk to Vin, man. That's a good day, man. We'll holler at you later. Did you peep that black V-Rod? Now that was cool. Getting into him that wasn't always into him, but I love that Bulldog from Big Dog. That's a real nice bag. You need to check that out. 47 grand, eh, not ready for it yet, but I'm coming.